Hello everybody, hopefully we can finally talk about Street Fighter V now. Um, yesterday was a complete gong show with everyone re-uploading the trailer. I tried playing it safe by just posting screenshots, but even that wasn't enough. Even some people got strikes for just talking about the video without any footage whatsoever. You know what I should've did? I should've just said, guys, I have a secret to tell you. If I would've named the title anything but Street Fighter V, I think I would've got away with it. But uh, it was just too blatant. Anyways, YouTube tossed my ass into copyright school. I wasn't allowed to leave until I graduated. I want you guys to know that I did graduate. I got 100% of my test and I didn't even watch the video. They're trying to teach me? I'm fucking Vesper Arcade. So just before we get started here, guys, um, let me mention first that Ultra Street Fighter 4 is going to be on the PlayStation 4. I don't think that's a surprise. I'm pretty sure we heard some leaks or something with the PS Now and things like that. So, um... It is confirmed now, it's going to be on PlayStation 4, and I think it's going to have all the costumes with the game, including the animal costumes, uh, as far as I know. Um, this is okay news. I'm going to probably pick it up, especially if uh, the netcode is going to be good, because hopefully that's another way that I can finally just play this game properly. Okay, so anyways, let's get back to Street Fighter V. Now, <laughs> i got to check all my notes here, because I said so much stuff in my other video. But uh, let's, let's first just start off with the fact that it is a PlayStation 4 and PC exclusive game. Now, at first, I didn't like this. But then I thought about it for a bit, and I'm like, well, Capcom, you know, they're not doing so well financially, in case you guys didn't know. So I thought, maybe this makes sense, because maybe Sony is helping them fund the game, which is really good news. And it turns out that's what it is because after the, the conference or the show that just happened, they confirmed that Sony is going to be helping Capcom on this game. And this is really good news because it wouldn't matter if it was Sony or Microsoft, but just one of these companies to help Capcom um, make this game uh, push as much money into it as possible so they don't like rehash it as much. Because like Cross Tekken was like a new game, but it didn't feel it was so rushed, right? It was only they only worked on it for like a year. And it just seems so similar to Street Fighter 4, the engine and all that, and they were reusing models. It's, it's great that um, they're pouring as much money as possible to this game, because we want this game to be, you know, AAA, quadruple A, as, as big as we could possibly get it. Now, um, they also confirmed that PlayStation 4 is going to be the only home console that uh, this game ever appears on. Now, that's pretty crazy, and that makes sense. So they obviously have like a big contract for this, and uh, so we will never see this on um, the Expo, and we'll also never see it on the Wii U. <laughs> so the reason I didn't like this at first was because, um, you know, I always talk about how fighting games are a niche genre, and uh, they need to be on, you know, the community need to be as big as possible, it needs to be as accessible as possible on all these consoles. But then they announced that it's going to be cross-play. So, the PC users will be able to play with the PS4 users, and this is the best possible news. So now it's kind of like um like a compromise, right? We get the extra funding from Sony to make this title, and we are compromising by helping making it cross-play between the PC users. So it's it's really good, man. It's the best of both worlds, right? So I'm really really happy about this news now. And uh, like I said, I honestly, my reaction would have been the same if it was Xbox and PC crossplay. Honestly, I don't care. As long as, um, like I said, Capcom gets funding and the crossplay is great. Of course, um, I'm pretty sure that the PC version of uh, Street Fighter V is not going to be released until, I'd say, mm, maybe a month or two later after it comes out on PS4. Because, you know. Like I said, Capcom is hurting for money and um, they're really paranoid of like piracy and stuff like that and PC is really, you know, vulnerable to that. So they'll probably come out, you know, a little bit after. This also tells us another thing too that since they're not going to release it on PS3, because you know, it is Sony, that uh, this is going to be, yeah, a true next gen fighting game. They'll obviously be using a brand new engine and uh, PC makes sense too because obviously PC can handle it. I'm happy about this because it means we won't have like a crippled version of the game, so to speak. They also said they're going to have more footage at the Capcom Cup, which makes perfect sense. I hope we get some more characters, announcements, things like that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a while for this game to come out, I'm assuming. 
hopefully one, two years. Like I said, I want them to work on this game for as long as possible, man, because like I just want it to be perfect. So Capcom is going to be just milking this. We're going to be getting teasers, you know, all the time. But uh, they didn't say if the game was going to be playable. I noticed they didn't mention that. So hopefully it is because, you know, we want as much information as soon as possible. Now, Capcom said before that, you know, there's always a huge gap between Street Fighters. And I think they were just trying to, like, you know, keep our expectations very low so they can do the big reveal and surprise us. Because, you know, there hasn't been, like, Street Fighter 4, it came out, like, what, seven, eight years after Third Strike did? That's, that's a huge gap, man. And now, now the game has been released, like, you know, right after, that's good. Um, it's one of Capcom's biggest franchises. And, uh... I'm glad we don't have to wait as long that I thought we would, you know, like 2018 or something like that. I think that Street Fighter 4, whether you like the game or not, it did revive the fighting game scene, man. It did revive it, and it, it made the community very, very strong because there was just nothing to play, basically, and it just unified all the people that played different fighting games together because it was such an accessible game to play. And now that all the next-gen consoles are out, now we have something next-gen. Of course, we have Mortal Kombat X coming out, too. Maybe next year might be the year of fighting games, man. I want to talk about things, um, my expectations of Street Fighter V. I want to talk about what they should do to um, make the game even more accessible. And, um, you know, keep fighting games, trying to make it not a, such a niche anymore. You know, with the whole joystick and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm going to do that in a separate video, otherwise this is going to be hours long. I might start like a little series maybe, and we'll just uh, we'll, we'll pick a topic of the day. And uh, we'll go for, you know through what we want from Street Fighter V, from anything from like aesthetics, to mechanics, to you know, everything. So, that'll be a lot of fun, and I hope you guys will uh, you know, give some cool feedback on that, and we can all like discuss together on what we want from this game. So anyways, moving on, let's get straight to the footage and uh, let's go step by step and then let's see what I can see from the video and I'd like to know what you guys see from the video because there's going to be some things that I miss for sure. So let's break it down from the very beginning, we'll go frame by frame here. So the first thing we notice right off the bat is that the game is going to be, once again we're using 3D models, no surprise next gen title. Um, we can't use sprites because, in case you guys didn't know, Drawing sprites is very expensive and it wastes a shitload of time. So we're never going to see that. It's just it's just not going to happen. Second thing we notice is that Ryu and Chun-Li look exactly like Ryu and Chun-Li. They're wearing the same get-ups they've been wearing since the beginning of time. I was actually kind of disappointed on that because, you know, I like the idea of them progressing on, you know, I don't want them, you know, Ryu to wear like a fucking cowboy suit or something, but I just mean that I want these characters to like show that we're moving forward in time here, you know, that we're, we're aging and uh, we want some progression, you know what I mean? Because like, that's something I love about KOF is that the characters, some of them like they, they, they look different, they're dressed different and it just, it feels more fresh, you know what I mean? Just a lot more fresh and um, we don't want to get to the point where like something crazy happens like, you know, Ryu loses an arm or something. But I just mean that just aesthetically, it would be nice if they, you know, at least change what they look like. Okay, so let's play this video here, and we'll just go by the step by step. So you can see there's a lot of detail, you know, physics engine, reuse headband, is just flown in the wind. We don't know if there's actual, like, wind physics. I don't think we're, we're that far into the future. There is a lot of de detail. I'm sure it'll look a lot better, like, when we see the game, like, in person, right? Because this is alpha footage, probably. You can see there's, like, reflections on chun -Li's bracelets. And the detail with, like, you know, her dress is pretty nice, too. So, right off the bat here, we already know that the game's gonna be taking place on a 2D plane, which is nice. We didn't see anyone stepping into the background or something crazy like that. So it's gonna be for the most part, it seems so far very similar to um, Street Fighter 4 and maybe even a little bit of cross Tekken because of this combo system that we're about to see. So, um, one thing I want to talk about is that 
even though some people might say that graphically uh, the game isn't, you know, really moved forward that much since uh, Street Fighter 4. Um, you can definitely agree that the the detail has gone up though, because like, look at this stage, man. There is so much detail in this stage. This looks like Chun Li stage, of course. They're in China, and uh, like when I say the detail, I mean like, look at the background. You can the draw distance is so much further normally than like most of these kind of stages, and. It kind of looks kind of like a like a Tekken kind of style too, if you think about it. it looks a lot more, um, I'd say, like more realistic kind of. So, hmm, right off the bat here, we see Chun Li do her lightning legs, but I did not see her whiff a normal into it. Of course, like like I said, when I'm explaining this, this is gonna be kind of like bullshit because you know this is obviously like a. A pre-rendered match it's not actually like two people playing so but I'm just saying here we go from one frame of like Chun Li is doing nothing and then suddenly she does her lightning legs so does that mean that Chun Li's lightning legs is now a command is it core circle back kick or something now because that'd be pretty sweet that means Chun Li is not a charge character anymore Ugh. I think we can all agree that's a jumping roundhouse Crouching light. Mm, jumping fierce. We checked the frame data on that crouching light. We'll see if it's how good it is. It's jumping fierce. Okay. So, was that a two hit uppercut? Or was it a crouching fierce into a fierce uppercut? What do you guys think here? Because it looks really fluid, hey? Like, I. Like, it looks really smooth. Um. If that is a crouching fierce punch, then at least they're changing what the normal moves look like, which is nice. That's a bigger change than you guys think. So we got the spinning bird kick is back. Ryu goes flying. Okay, so what's this about? We see Ryu, he's doing like some weird pose. It looks like a focus attack. I really hope focus attacks do not come back in this game. But he's doing some kind of weird pose here. Like, what's this about? This looks exactly like his focus attack. But the thing is, he gets hit by, hit by Chun-Li's uh, jumping fierce punch, which still does two hits, by the way. So what's that about? And uh, let, me, let me just backtrack a little bit here, guys. I just want to make sure... Um, <laughs> like reuse like standing animation is is this like the normal standing animation? Yeah, see, he's just chilling here in his normal how he looks when he's standing. So that was definitely like some weird stance there. If that was a focus attack, then reuse focus attack sucks. Okay, so backtrack here. Charlie does jumping fierce into the down forward light kick or whatever, and then she seems to combo it, jump cancel from it, triple step kick into what it looks like some kind of sideways speeding bird kick or just like an air version, which by the way is another reason that we can assume that Chun Li might not be a charge character anymore if she's able to do it in the air like that, unless she was like buffering it while she was jumping, but that's doubtful. And then she, like Ryu hits the ground and you see he bounces and then Chun Li hits him off the ground some kind of OTG attack here Like that's pretty cool So maybe if every character has some kind of universal attack that they can hit the opponent off the ground like um, this is already a big combo system because uh, it that's why I'm saying it's kind of got that cross Tekken feel to it Yep, yeah, all combos that's really cool. Whoa, 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 wait, wait a second. I think I think I just noticed something. Did the did those lights just blow up? Oh, okay. See, so now we got some stage interaction here. See, so notice right? See, see the sign. As soon as she hits Ryu on the top, there. Look, boom. Or maybe it's just a coincidence and there's like some kind of city power outage problem or something. But that's pretty cool, man. That's what we want, man. 
some interaction here. And you see the lights, they're they're wiggling. That's really cool. Okay, so this is another thing too, is that they got some kind of power-up thing. Like, we don't know what it is. It could be an X-Factor, it could be something similar to N-Groove from uh, CVS2, where it, it powers powers you up, your attacks, um, or it might give you access to uh, your Ultra moves, because at first I thought it was something that activates when you get hit, but Chun-Li activates it after kicking Ryu's ass. And one thing we noticed too is that Chun Li, hers is like a like a water thing, like a water power up around her, and reuse was electricity that you'll see soon enough. So she shoots two fireballs there, and you can see you see her hands, you see how it has the like the water around her, so you know that she's powered up right now. Is that implying that when she's powered up, she could shoot two fireballs? And this looks like her super. Actually, you know what it was? That was probably an EX version of her lightning legs because they're they're showing off all the EX versions of her moves. Or it could have been an ultra. We don't know. Another thing too I noticed is that um, okay, you see her spinning brick kick. It's got that water and it's got the ink. And I was thinking before that um, maybe the ink is just like a new style for all their attacks, but it definitely is some type of powered up version of their attacks because we saw before. Um, her spinning break kick was moving towards Ryu. There we go. So we see Chun-Li does the spinning break kick. No ink, no water, nothing, and she's moving towards Ryu. And it uh, flips him up in the air. But now when we see it, it's got the water and the ink around it. And it's stationary. And then that's definitely like some kind of ultra attack. Because it goes into a full, like, different camera angle and everything. And it's very, very similar to the same Super uh, Ultra we've seen in a while. But this is the cool part. She can jump cancel it, just like in Third Strike. Or CBS 2. Into the Jumping Fierce. I was kind of hoping that he'd do three-step kicks into the <laughs> spinning, uh... Uh, what was it called? Uh, spinning bird kick. That'd be pretty sweet. And then she does, like, a crouching medium kick. Now, did this OTG? Can't tell. Just the way the the trailer was, it doesn't look like it. Because Ryu is just all of a sudden standing instantly. Maybe. And then Ryu goes flying, and now obviously we see that they have destructible stages. Now, uh... Destructible stages, it's been done before, we've seen it before, um, I guess, I don't really care about this because, you know, people don't like this kind of stuff because it interferes with competitive play, you know, it, it makes things, we don't like the idea of things um, being random, so to speak, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's aesthetically, it looks really cool, and it, it's obviously not going to affect the gameplay that much as long as you don't have some kind of like incoming attack that you do and you jump on his head after. And it's nothing extreme, like we don't have like environmental like um, uh, objects that we can interact with like in Mortal Kombat, which I personally do not like. But like, you know, we don't have like Ryu like open up the trunk of a cab and beating Chun-Li with a baseball bat or anything like that. So here we see Ryu's version. And this is like some angry shit, like, I don't know what it is, but we noticed that, see, Ryu's version, he's got the ink around him, but uh, he's also got electricity. So instead of the water, it's like electricity. And then it's showing us, hey look, this is definitely like an EX version of his fireball, because you can see the ink flowing through it. And of course it hits multiple times and it's like got electricity to it too. So this is kind of cool, like hopefully that means that like every character has some type of like, uh, some some kind of element to them, you know, like hopefully like Ken will have like fire goes around him, right? That'd be really sweet. And then this is obviously an EX version of uh, Ryu's Hurricane Kick. Once again, it's stationary and we see the ink around him.
Jumping Fierce. Looks like Stang Fierce. No, nope, Stang Jab or something. And the Fireball, and then now we see that there is a Guard Break. Yes! We need a Guard Break. Seriously. And then that's like the EX version of the Uppercut. Crouch Immune to EX Uppercut. Good buffering. So the final part of the trailer here is we see this, it looks like a chain of attacks. We do not know if he's linking. It looks really smooth. So I can't tell. But like, what is this? So we see Ryu look like, what is this attack? And what is that? Because now Ryu's bo using both his arms. So to me, it implies a chain. Don't know if he's linking it. Um... If it is a, a ch like a set chain of attacks, but something similar to cross tech, and we can go like ABC. Um, I personally do not like that because then the game turns into like you know, a game of fishing chains, so to speak. If they do have that in the game, then I can see why they did it because obviously they want the game to be more accessible, and that may be one thing they did it with. And then of course we see Ryu, uh, ca super cancel basically. But it looks like an ultra cancel. Because he definitely didn't link that. It just went one right into it. So, you know, this looks like the combo system in the game is definitely a lot different than uh, Street Fighter 4. It looks like a more combo, like, centric game. Like I said, like the biggest thing, like, graphically is the detail. And the detail of the stages look really, really nice. So, I hope they have a lot of stages in the game. I doubt we'll have like a stage for each character. I doubt they're gonna put that much work into it, but uh, so far it looks really, really nice. And like every stage is going to be layered because of the breakable walls and stuff. So that's as much as I can find at a glance looking at this video. I'm really tired right now. But if you guys see anything that I didn't see, let me know in the comments, man. Let's talk about it. We got a long time before this game probably comes out. So we got nothing else to do until we get some more footage and then we'll keep talking about it. But I'd like to say that um, my channel, it didn't start with fighting games, but it definitely wasn't known until fighting games until I started my Street Fighter 4. And I feel like this is going to be the channel's next, you know, super big focus. If Street Fighter 5 lives up to my expectations as both a consumer and a competitive player, uh, I'm just gonna be all over this game, man. This is gonna be the game, and it, it's great, man, to uh, start fresh with this. Do another Street Fighter because that's what I know the most. That's what I can offer the most to you guys um, from all these years that I've been playing these fighting games. So hopefully this video doesn't get taken down the next 10 minutes, and uh, you guys have a good weekend. I'll see you guys next time.